Hello everyone, welcome to this guide about dragon riding in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Um, all of this footage is from the beta, so obviously things can change, but in this guide I'll be going over what dragon riding is, how it works, the dragon riding talent tree, and how to unlock these additional talents that will make your life a lot easier when moving around the zones in Dragonflight. Now, one of the nicest things about this entire system is that it's completely account-wide and has zero time gating. You can unlock all of the skills on day one of the expansion, all of the talents if you want to, and all your alts will be able to benefit from fully unlocked dragon riding. That is obviously really awesome. Let's hope that Blizzard doesn't change that. That would be ideal. Um, now, in this guide, I'll be going through each zone, showing where to collect the dragon glyphs that you can basically use as talent points, and also post coordinates for each one in the comments, as well as on the screen here on the top left. Um, I'm showing you the locations of these glyphs while I've unlocked all of the towns, so you'll see that I have some more resources than you'll have available to you when you start out on, on this uh, exploration. Um, so it will look a bit easier for me than it is for you. Uh, but in essence, I, I, I unlocked all of these with trees, so uh, it just takes a little bit more time and would look less nice in this guide. Um, so a brief introduction to dragon riding. When you're going through the first zone, you'll receive a renewed Proto Drake, which is this mount that I've equipped here, uh, and learn dragon riding somewhere on this platform, basically, here in the first zone. Uh, you'll have some quests here to do with dragon riding, which basically gives you a, a brief tutorial of how to do it. Now, if you click on this summary button here, you'll see your dragon riding talent tree. Um, and that is basically the talents that you can unlock by exploring certain zones. Um, now, at the top, you see all of the basic abilities that you have access to. Some of these you will unlock as you move through the different main quests in each zone. Um, in the first zone, you start with the dragon riding basics that you unlock in this platform here, and that gives you two skills. Search forward, which basically is your speed up, and skyward ascent, which is going upwards, flapping upwards to kind of gain height. Um, now, all of these abilities, they cost something that's called Vigor. So Vigor is spent by dragon riding abilities, such as flying upwards or moving quickly, and recharges while grounded. So if I'm walking around here and I've used my Vigor, it will slowly recharge. That takes quite a while. Or when you have this Trill of the Skies buff. Now, this Trill of the Skies buff you gain if you're flying in the air and have some momentum. You'll see a buff appear in your buff window or however you want to track it, and that will kind of um, recharge here on this bar. If the bar reaches full, you regain a vigor that you can then kind of keep on using to keep your flight going. Um, I'll, I'll showcase some of these abilities also when I go around and fly to, to collect the different uh, dragon dragon glyphs or talent points. Um, now let's just have a brief look at some of these talents to just show you how like your efficiency or your skill will increase as you collect these points because they're really really nice and really make your life a lot easier. So I would suggest unless you're like rushing, rushing to max level I would suggest you actually collect these because it makes leveling a lot easier and simpler when you have traversed large spaces. The leveling is really made in a way to to make you use dragon riding, so it can be very, very nice to have these talents unlocked early on. So for example, at the first tier you have talents that increase your vigor, so you get like an extra charge of an ability. Um, you have um, other abilities that basically increase your vigor regeneration rate, and then also your vigor regeneration rate while flying. Um, there are some other traits that are more um, like, like less obvious what they do. So for example, this one is to evade certain obstacles in the air that would that would basically hinder you from dragon flying. Uh, here you have a choice node. Note. One of them basically allows you to, to do damage to mobs when you drop down in a particular area, which can be quite nice. I really like this one because when you dismount, you basically get a shield plus movement speed per stack. So if you flew for a long time, you get a lot of movement speed when you um, when you dismount, which can be very nice for questing. Um, then you have this talent, which increases your uh, regeneration rate while grounded. So 
you um, finished your dragon riding because you're out of vigor, this decreases the, the time it takes for you to be able to dragon ride again and have all your vigor back. Um, you also have these talents that like the Whirling Surge, which is this particular ability that costs a lot of vigor. It costs three vigor. Um, but it, it allows you to, to spiral forward really, really quickly and gain a lot of speed. This allows this ability to dis dismount airborne enemy players, which is quite funny, um, and also evade uh, wing shredders. That's that's particularly nice for like some of the dragon flying competitions you can enter. Um, you have dragon flying like competitions, which is like try to finish the zone, or you can or or, or the path. Um, or you have competitions against other people, so that will be a lot of fun to kind of explore that um, when the game launches. Um, obviously, you want to have as many town points unlocked for, for those competitions. Again, you can increase your vigor, and here you have a final choice node. That's kind of, again, just increasing the rate at which you gain vigor back. For example, if you're uh, collecting herbs or gathering uh, mines or when you defeat enemies. So again, this is just to get you back to dragon riding more quickly, which can be very nice. And then here, the end three notes are again to increase your vigor, your regeneration rate while flying and while grounded. Now, in this next section of the guide, I'll just briefly um, fly through to each glyph. There's 10 glyphs in each zone. So in the walking shores, you have 10. In the plains, you have 10. In the azure span, you have 10. And in the Draces, you have 10. That sums to the 40 talent points. So once you've collected all of them, you get 40 talent points and you can spend them any way you like. Well, you'll just fill out the talent tree, right? Now, importantly, as you get these glyphs, I would advise you to obviously buy the talents so that you're stronger for reaching the other glyphs, which will just make your life easier. Even though, like, at first, uh, this UI was entirely bugged, so I collected all of the glyphs without... Um, being able to spend the talent points. But especially in the later zones, that was a massive pain to get to the, the top mountain, as, as I'm sure you'll see in this guide. Um, so all right, I'll just go um, first through the walking shore to kind of highlight where all of these glyphs are. Um, the glyphs, because I've already collected them, you'll see them, but they're silver instead of gold. They're golden if you, can, if you haven't collected them yet. Um, so first th key thing to say is you can either start by um, your Skyward Ascent or by double pressing spacebar just like on a Dima Hunter Glide or an Evoker Glide. So I'll just double jump spacebar and then you can for example angle down which will make you gain speed. You can also flap forward and so here is the first glyph that I'll show you right under this archway. Um, and then I'm going to try to fly to the next cliff, which is actually quite far, but because I have the talents, I think I might actually make it. The next cliff is here on the map. Again, I'll post... Um, oh, I think I won't make it, actually. Um, I'll post in the comments the different locations for um, each cliff, as well as uh, illustrate on the map where they are. So that was the other glyph here at the top. Um, so now I'll show you where some other glyphs are. So these are the first two glyphs. I'm just going to re recharge some of my vigor because um, some of the glyphs I want to collect are on this top mountain here. Um, I've also done this a couple of days ago, so hopefully I still remember uh, some of the locations. We'll see in a second. should be enough to get to the next one. I'll just gain some speed so that I keep recharging. As you can see on the top right, I have the Trill the Skies buff, which means my energy bar is recharging. Um, and then I think there should be one somewhere here. Yeah, so here inside the tower you can see the cliff here. So let's go through that. Again, I'll just gain some speed. This next one, again, yeah, in this tower here, so I collect it. 
Now this next one I probably won't be able to reach because it's very high up and I probably don't have enough speed. Oh, my two. Yeah, nice. So that's the next cliff. So again, like this will be a lot harder to do when you don't have a, when you haven't unlocked all of these talents because obviously you can't just recharge to six cliffs while flying here. Um, so the next one is here in this tower. Maybe at the top of the tower. Yeah, at the top of the tower. So you collect that one and then you again can fly to the next one. Uh, this flying to the next one you can actually do even with three town points, which is kind of nice. Not entirely sure I remember exactly where the next one is. I think maybe here at the top of this mountain. Yeah, nice. So here again you can see the glyph. You just fly through it and go to the next one. You can see it here, this cliff here. Uh, yeah, nice here. This cliff, and then there's one more that is quite high up. You can see sometimes it can be a little bit counterintuitive when you lose the free of the skies buff. So you, so you suddenly stop gaining vigor, which can be quite difficult. This final one is up here. Might not have enough. Yeah, nice. So these were all the glyphs in the waking shores. Um, and we can actually see if we can go to the next zone in one go. First cliff here is at the top of this mountain. Might yeah, I'm not going to reach it. Uh, again, like I'll put the the actual uh, locations of all of these cliffs in the description and also on the screen when you see this video. Just going to wait until I have six figure to make um, a lot of this a lot easier. You also don't have to do um, these uh, glyphs in this order. You can collect them in any order you want. So especially if you're not rushing the leveling, I would just suggest to have a screenshot of the locations uh, for these glyphs and kind of as you go to a questing area, just collect the glyph to basically make your life easier as you go through through all of the zones. Um, one of the nice things is also that you unlock these different mounts as you do the main story quest and like the animations for getting the mount is very cool and each mount has their own different animation which is kind of nice. Oh, 
my graphics are also kind of terrible so you can't actually look through these zones but on a better computer they look really nice right let's get the cliffs that's the first cliff Uh, and you al always want to kind of make sure that you have this Trill Disguise buff so that you're recharging Vigor. So if you see oh, your mount is not gaining any any Vigor, you kind of want to speed up uh, or tilt your camera down a little bit. There's one somewhere here, but I don't actually remember exactly where. Yeah, here at the top of the mountain. And I think here near the waterfall. Yeah, nice. So we'll go down a bit and then I have to go quite a lot back up. That's the other glyph. There's another one. Nice. I think maybe in this tower there was one. Yeah, nice. This is also a lot easier to see if your view distance is, is uh, quite high. Uh, so I definitely recommend uh, upping your view distance when, when trying to do this. I couldn't find the setting on the beta because all the settings have changed, but I would definitely try to figure that out. Yeah, there's one here. And I think I missed one. Somewhere here. land on this area to check oh yeah here at the top it's a bit hard to see because of the skybox. Don't know why it disappears. Um, but you can see it here. Just recharge my figure. I've already shown this one, so I'm just gonna go to the next one on the list. Which is gonna be roughly here. Yeah, they're much more obvious when they're golden, so that will be nice. Just going to wait for six because it, uh, I will have to go upwards quite a bit. Uh, and so again, as a reminder, like at least on the beta at the moment, you can just click on the summary button, go to your town tree, and as you collect these glyphs, you just put your town points, which are going to make your life a lot easier. All right, let's go. So we get this one. Again, want to get the Trill of the Skies. And then we can fly to the next area. Um, now some of these like are in, in the quest areas like this one so it's really nice to kind of collect it while you're there doing the quests all right um. This one might be in this tower here. Yeah, above the tower, nice. 
So we collect that. And then there's one more in the zone. Which kind of brings us to the third zone afterwards, which is kind of nice. Oh, here. Yeah, nice. It's here under this um, zone. Okay, so after this one, we go back to the top and we can start with the next. Next zone. So again, it's here. Just recharge my vigor. It's the first one. Um, and then I'll have a think about the route for the next one based on this map that I've made. Again, I'll, I'll post screenshots of the maps as well. Uh, this zone is a little bit more difficult already to get them just because like you have a high point here Then you want to collect two glyphs here, which are much lower down But then you have to get to this massive high point here and a massive high point here um, So you can't can't very easily do this in one go um, But it doesn't take much time and it's really worth doing to to basically make your dragon riding more efficient In this in the final zone It will be similar where some of them are really high up and that's not that easy to get to all right, let's get going. Again, really want your buff. Sometimes it's a bit slow in responding. This area is also a little bit annoying because it like toggles between the map <laughs> because the maps are so close. If I remember correctly, it's on one of the treetops. Oh yeah, here, at the tower. It's the second glyph of the zone. Now obviously if you set your settings higher, uh, it will be much easier to spot them as well. And again, because they're silver at the moment, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, here is one. It's the third one. Okay, and now we actually have a hard job of getting here to the top of these archives. Uh, if you're questing, like you'll unlock a teleporter to actually go up, which is kind of nice. Which I think I haven't done on this character yet. But maybe with these dragon flying talents, you can you can just get there. Like one of the super nice things is that you also um, you can just go to these zones without doing the story if that's what you wanted. So in theory, although I wouldn't really recommend that, is you can go and unlock all of these dragon flying towns as soon as you learn dragon flying, um, and then go back to level. It's kind of how you want to do it. So I think there's a teleporter here. You can actually use this. Like, I haven't done the quest line at all. You see this the first quest in the zone. You can still use this teleport to at least go one level higher. Uh, but you won't be able to go all the way up to there, which you can after unlocking some quests. So one thing you also see is, like, you regenerate this vigor slowly as you're walking around, like, or just stand still. Um, now I need to remember where these ones were. I think maybe in that tower. Just go to this next platform. I remember the first time I collected this one, I was a little bit confused of where it was. in that tower.
Okay, not in this one. Hopefully in that one. Maybe somewhere here on the edges. Yeah, it's here in the top. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this kind of happens. And so sometimes you'll see you kind of get stuck in the wall. So it's kind of good that that this happens. Uh, it's very very frustrating because like you can't actually move off the wall. It's as if your character like glitches into the wall with dragon riding, um, which is quite annoying. Um, and that will definitely happen uh, as you get up some of these high mountains where you just barely miss it, as I just did there. Um, and then your character just glitches into the side of the wall. Uh, and that can be extremely frustrating on like larger mountains because you just glide down all the way to the bottom uh, and you kind of have to start from scratch. And as you'll see, like at the moment when you have very little momentum, uh, you don't recharge vigor. Um, and because you just almost have to go up vertically to this tower, um, you actually don't have enough vigor to get there. Although again, like this gets easier as you get more talent points. Um, don't actually think I can do this even in six, so I'll just fly to the next uh, tower and then just start from there. But you see how difficult it is to just go up a, a single tower uh, when you don't have the momentum required. Now, one of the nice things is that because you collect uh, a glyph at such a high area, you can just gain momentum to go to the other areas relatively quickly. Just going to wait for the vigor. Uh, one of the things that they might also change on the bay on on life is that you can't access the talent tree uh, from this interface. You can see it, but probably not spent talents. The reason for that is you have all kinds of like dragon trainers in different cities. Um, and at the moment, those trainers don't actually work. And the only way to spend your talents is in this in this summary interface. But I think the intention is that you would go to your dragon riding trainer to kind of learn a skill. Um, obviously, that like might change the, the route you take, because at the moment, you could just easily fly, put down points. Um, well, if you have to go to your dragon riding trainer, that that would be less uh, practical. So we have seven glyphs left in this zone. There's two like high up points that are relatively annoying to get to. So this is the first one. So let's just collect this this one. And then we're going to the next area, which is roughly here. Don't actually remember that one. Might have been better if I waited for some extra vigor. Surely must be at the top of one of these trees. No. It's somewhere here. Maybe in this tower. No. Oh, there at the tree. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit annoying because after that I have to go roughly here. Uh, so it will be very difficult to actually have the momentum, but we'll see. So first one against the tree instead of on top of the tree for some reason. Uh, as you can see, you can already see that I'm going to struggle quite a bit. And obviously like if you have three vigor, um, or four by the time you, you get to this zone, uh, this will be quite quite a lot more annoying. But it kind of depends on how you want to do this. I think for some players, they might enjoy collecting all this right at the start of the expansion, which you can obviously do, even without unlocking the other zones. You can just go here. Um, alternatively, you might just collect some of them while you're leveling. 
think there's one in this tower. Oh, just above me. There's a cliff here. Um, and now we have to go up this very high area. I think there's one in that tower or above that tower. So I'm gonna wait for the rest of my vigor. And then from there, I think we can probably collect the the final. You can see sometimes you also get stuck in walls again, like here, which is very annoying. But it's fine. We can just start from here. Now, once we get up to that high area, you can very nicely like collect three of them. Like it's super nice when you can get to a high area and then just collect three glyphs in one right. Actually, not sure if I'll be able to reach that even with six. And so, obviously, when you only have three, that will, um, and when your recharge rate is lower, that will be a lot more difficult. And ideally, you would start from this tower so that you can go down a little bit to gain momentum. And that's really like one of the key things with dragon riding is just maintaining that Trill of the Skies buff so that you constantly recharge. Because as soon as you drop that, because you angle your mount a little bit too upward, then um, like it's really difficult uh, to, to finish your journey, I guess. Right, let's go. So you see now I'm having a little bit of difficulties getting the buff. And it's a much more difficult ride, especially when you have to get this high up. You can see I probably... yeah, no, it's fine. There's a glyph here. And now we're going to slowly start going to the other ones. Like, I've only done this once, so I don't really know the locations that well yet. Um, I think there's one here in the tower. Yeah, nice. Okay. My wings are too big. Again, you want to get a momentum buff. Yeah, nice. Trill of the skies. I think maybe in this tower as well one. So sometimes they're quite hidden from view, right? So it's nice to know where they are here. Nice. And then there's one final one in the zone. Somewhere here, I think. You don't want to go too low. Yeah, here. Nice. And that's the final one. So those were all the ones in the Azure span. Um, I think I'll actually just fly to the next zone because um, this is way too upward to go to. Although again, as I said, like on beta, some of these flight pads were unlocked automatically. Um, but yeah, that might change. So I'll just fly there and then do the final zone again with 10 glyphs. Uh, as you'll have noticed, like in the first zone, it's all very easy to get and it gets progressively harder. Um, the nice thing is that you'll have unlocked more talent points, so it, that helps with it. Um, but for example, there's one up here in like these big mountains um, that is really, really high to get. Um, and I actually did them without talent, so that one took... Um, yeah, quite a few minutes to uh, recharge your vigor, do three jumps, recharge your vigor, do three jumps, etc. Alright, um, so now we're going to Dragon Ride to the next zone. Again, like, uh, I'm going to the main city now, so don't, if you don't want any spoilers of what that looks like and things like that, you probably don't want to watch. Um, the next glyph is basically on top of that tower. Um, so we'll try to get as far as we can. There is a teleporter in the city that we can kind of use to 
um, to cheat a little bit and, and get up um, relatively high already. This area was also actually a pain to get up on with Tree Vigor. But again, if you do the zones in this order, um, you'll have unlocked most of the talents by the time that you reach this zone. Um, this main city is actually really nice. Um, but here at the top of the stairs, there's a teleport that you can use. Um, and that brings you a lot closer to the top. The Drake boys. And here at the top is that first cliff of the zone. Now the reason why I like starting here is because within the zone this is pretty high up, although you'll see like <laughs> there's some huge mountains, um, but so that helps quite a bit for getting started for collecting the other glyphs. Um, I'll actually wait for some vigor, you can see the glyph here. Maybe tree is probably enough for this. And I'll have to recharge um, here at the top. Alright, let's go. Get some momentum. And we are off. There's one here. Nice. The first one. And I think there's one in this high tower here. That's an Oroglyph, um, then I'll have a look here, there's one massive one like here in, in some tower up here, I think there was a closer one as well, so I'll just check the map. No, I think that's the next one. Okay, let's go. Momentum, get the fear of the skies, and then it can kind of even out. I think that might be the high tower there. Again, like I would really suggest you to add a lot of view distance uh, to your game because that will help a lot. Getting to these next ones are um, going to be relatively difficult because you have to get on um, over that mountain range, basically. And like you kind of have to pay attention to your your buff because as soon as you lose that the through the skies, you kind of want to change the trajectory that you're taking so that you keep regenerating vigor. And so obviously that becomes a little bit more difficult if you're having to trespass an uphill area.
Oh, hero on the glyph. Yeah, nice. So here on this cliff. Alright, then one is close to the raid, and once we collect that one, we have to do a massive trek all the way up this mountain, which will take a while. Remember this one, this one's actually relatively easy, so I think we can go just get the buff. Yeah, there it is. Like again, like your graphics might influence when you can see this, you saw it appear there. Obviously, if you have a better graphic card and higher viewing distance, this will be a lot better. As you see, I'm kind of getting stuck. I'm gonna try to get to this area. Nope. So, what's the next highest area you can fall on? Here. Nice. Okay, this is what I mean with getting stuck. Um, so, if that happens, you often want to drop down just because if you're stuck in an area like that and you don't count as standing, you obviously don't recharge your vigor. Uh, so, that can be quite annoying. Um, if you get here with very few down points, I would actually suggest going here only once you've unlocked the majority of them. Um, otherwise it will take quite a lot of time just waiting to recharge and then flying upwards. Um, as you saw me do there, like sometimes it's good not to go straight up because then you have zero momentum so you don't recharge. So it can be good to kind of go around, keep the Thrill of the Skies buff um, so that you recharge figure while slowly moving upwards. Um, and that's a similar thing that I'll do, is I'll jump down a little bit to get the Trill Disguise and then move upwards. Because I think that's usually better than just going straight up. You'll also see that like if you don't have the Trill Disguise buff, when you press to go upwards, like it, it feels like a miserable little jump that you make instead of actually going up quite fast. Hopefully we can make this in one go. Buff, buff, buff. Yeah, nice. We can go. Nice. So here's the final glyph. And then we can collect the rest. One of these is like somewhere here. I think maybe in this tower here, hopefully. Please, please, please. Yeah, nice. Uh, and then there's two more glyphs in this zone. So one roughly here. I think 
maybe you're at the top of this thing. Not actually sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, nice. Again, I would really recommend you um, to increase your graphic uh, card details uh, and your viewing distance. That will help a lot. Because as you can see, like it's not that obvious where they are. Uh, it helps that they're gold if you haven't collected them, so it will be more obvious. Uh, I think the final one is in one of these two towers. I think the lower one. And so these, yeah, nice. These are all the glyphs. You can spend them here. Like by the time that you unlock this final one, you'll have 40 to spend. Um, importantly, if you log on your alt, you won't have these talents, but you'll have these glyph points. So you can just log on an alt, spend them all, and have them for, for example, if you're leveling or you want to gather on alt, it's really, really nice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guide. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in other content like this, uh, please subscribe. I'll create multiple videos like preparing people for Dragonflight and giving quick tips on how to use the systems. Thank you very much.